Hi guys, in this session I am going to discuss about how to run file workflow by using pm cmd command. Uh, so add your uh, start workflow. Uh, the uh, start or uh, workflow. The start workflow uses the flowing syntax in command line mode. Uh, so let's uh, copy. and paste it on notepad Uh, so add here option service uh, that is required and uh, domain that is optional and uh, timeout that is also optional username required and user var uh, required in command line mode if don't specify the username. Uh, so add your folder uh, that is required so so many options are optional and some options are required so let's uh, open a uh, command prompt so if you write at right there uh, pmcmd so pmcmd is not recognized as an internal or external environment uh, that means uh, c drag user item folder or uh, pmcmd executable file is not there so by default uh, pmcmd executable files or uh, the location is uh, c drag informatica folder 9.5.4 uh, 5.1 server and bin a uh, folder of uh, pmcmd command is there so let's uh, copy uh, and use a uh, cd that is change directory and uh, paste the Uh, so at your uh, pmcmd uh, start workflow sv stands for S, uh, service int that is my integration uh, service name uh, d for domain or name a u for user p for password f for folder and uh, wf one to one that is a uh, name of uh, work that is workflow name so in my video running pmcmd command in a uh, command line mode in informatica so there i discussed to detail about all those parts so let's copy uh, that one and uh, paste it there so before i'm going to run uh, let's uh, start the workflow from workflow manager so workflow get succeeded now let's uh, 
uh, start the workflow by using uh, pmcmd command. So look at the uh, workflow and session is in running state. So now let's run a uh, file workflow. So first go to session, next uh, click on components uh, tab and uh, next uh, use post session or uh, success command. So right here uh, uh, change the tab or uh, you can change reusable or new or uh, reusable. So I'm going to take non reusable and uh, Hereafter, click on arrow or symbol and add the command by using plus uh, by using add symbol. So I first, uh, uh, I'm going to I added uh, five command. So first uh, command, I'm go I'm going to uh, copy the location. Or we have a PMCMD, PMCMD executable file is there. So first I am going to use a uh, change directory CD and uh, pasting the location or uh, there or uh, where PMCMD command and next command to start the workflow. So let's copy uh, that line. And test it uh, the uh, workflow name WF assigning. A double S I G N I N G. Now come for command 3, add here change workflow name wf underscore m underscore map 3. And for command 4, uh, change the workflow name uh, wf underscore m underscore scd1 and now for command 5 again do the same process change the workflow name uh, wf underscore m underscore lcd one underscore or test and now click on apply okay apply okay and or uh, save the workflow So let's go to our uh, command prompt. And now uh, start the uh, workflow. Workflow name wf underscore one to one. So one to one workflow is in running state. Now wf underscore assigning workflow is running state again our wf m underscore map 3 is in running state now std1 is running state
so that your five uh, workflow gets succeeded. So let's uh, run one time more. So first uh, one to one. Uh, workflow is in running state, second assigning workflow running state, uh, third map 3 running state, and SCD1 run, running state, and now SCD1 test is in running state. So All get succeeded. So now it's done at here. Thanks for watching. See you next week.